In this video, I'd like to show you how to run an a priori and post hoc power analysis using MATLAB. The data we'll be using is based on French and O'Brien's 2008 study, which focuses on children's English language acquisition. The authors measured working phonological memory for Arabic and English, as well as a measure of English grammar. So suppose the researchers wanted to test the difference between the Arabic non-word phonological memory tests at time one and the English equivalent at time one as well, and wanted to know what power they achieved with the given sample size, i.e. they want to employ a post hoc analysis. Let's save these in variables x and y. That is, n where 1 is Arabic non-word phonological memory at time 1. And n where 1 is English non-word phonological memory at time 1. For good measure, let's just check for normality. Let's use the formula we've made in the previous video. MATLAB's formula for power is straightforward, but not quite intuitive. The function is samp size power. First, we have to specify we have two independent samples. Using T2. Next, we'll enter the mean for our first sample and standard deviation. Next, our power, which is what we're trying to calculate. So we'll leave this as two empty brackets. And finally, our sample size, which is 104. As we can see, we have a very low power. If we want to run an a priori as opposed to post hoc, we just have to change our formula a little bit by reflecting the power we want and brackets for the sample size. So as we can see, we need a very large sample to achieve this power. And that is how you run a priori and post hoc power analyses. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. And thank you for watching.